Hello, and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I'm making weird art a little bit more weird. And yeah, okay, so where better to start than Art Breeder? Well, that's very good because what I want to do is create a very short video. I'm only going to have about 60 frames in this. And then, after I've done my little video, I'll be applying some neural style transfer to it. So, obviously you can do this as well if you want to follow along, all this stuff is free. So you can create a new video, let's just say, I don't know, I'll do some furries, and you want to animate, and uh, you know, you can edit an old one or whatever. Now, I only want 60 frames, so you know, when you're doing it, you can pick a couple of uh, little images, I'm just picking some ones at random here, there we go. Now you see that quickly creates a lot of frames. Uh, you can make it a little bit shorter down there and apply all, or you can lower the, the FPS, that will also give you fewer frames. So that's that's the first thing to do, get your video, 60 frames, save that, we're on to the next section. Okay, so we're on the next section here, which is the neural style transfer. And uh, just to show you what that video looks like quickly, here is the original video. Great, so the next thing we need to do is apply this neural style transfer. Now, you can get this on GitHub. The little address is up there in the bar, but of course I've put it down in the description as well, so you can just click on it. Uh, this is a TensorFlow implementation, but it's quite an old one, so you will need to use TensorFlow 1.15 is the one I'm using. Uh, they do have a lot of deprecated features in there, so if you try and use TensorFlow 2, it, it won't work. Um, but this is this is very good, as you can see here. Uh, you can transfer the style of various artworks, uh, and it, it, it does you know pretty good job. Lots of lots of good quality on there. Uh, you can uh, you know adjust the style and how much weight you want to put into it. You can use multiple styles, which I haven't done yet. I'll be doing that later. Combining two styles into one picture sounds like fun. Uh, style interpolation, and that's a little bit of what we're going to be doing which is right down here. Segmentation I haven't done yet, but this one, video. Now this um, neural style TensorFlow implementation does a very good job of video um, because it actually um, checks the flow for it and then creates the style frames based uh, on that flow. So yeah, that's very nice. I like that a lot. Um, it does need uh, obviously CUDA, C uh, DNN, uh, TensorFlow, OpenCV, and the VGG19 model weights, which you can get, you know, just download the pre trained model from here, Very Deep 19. Uh, it's got the link in the description and also in the GitHub thing. Basic usage here, which is fantastic. And they give you some scripts and tell you what all the different arguments do and shows you some really complex stuff down at the bottom that you really, really honestly don't need to know about. All I was doing here was um, basically doing the neural style transfer um, with some videos. Now, um, that meant first getting some styles. So I had my video from Art Breeder, so then I need some styles. Now styles are quite tricky and you sort of have to get an eye for what file is going to be um, a good style. So one thing that I quite like is uh, Pixabay for this. Now Pattern gets you some quite good ones. You see that, that would make quite a good style. Um, it's got lots of colors and they repeat and it, it seems like a pattern that it would it would recognize the same with these and the bricks. Um, where you have styles like this, obviously you can choose whether or not to use the colors from the style or from the original image. Um, so if you use the original image colors and then a, then a brick style like that, you know, you get a uh, quite a good brick feeling. Uh, Pixabay, you can also search for illustrations, which gives you some nice, nice patterns as well. So something like that may work. That might be quite a good pattern. That would be a good style. Uh, that would be a good style as well. That would be a very good style. That's got lots of nice colors, um, very easily recognizable. So basically what I did was I downloaded, you know, 30 or 40 different styles, um, had to look at them all, um, ran them, ran them um, individually. So rather than doing the video first time, I just did you know, the batch stylized image, had a look at them, picked out the best eight, um, and then rendered them a lot. So, on to the next section. 
Okay, so the next section is upscaling. And for this, there's quite a few options. You could use something like Anime 4X, uh, but um, Dandere 2X is fast waifu 2X upscaling. Again, the, uh, the link is in the description. It gives you a little tech overview here. So we've got our original 512 by 512 videos, which uh, look like this when they're stylized. And then if you upscale it, they look like this. So here's a little overview of what this does. You basically see you've got a low resolution that is brought up to a higher resolution. And while this is quite you know, grainy, you've got all these artifacts here. When it increases the resolution, it actually smooths that out a lot. I don't know whether you can see it. Hopefully you can see it on the video. But if you go to the GitHub page, it's, it's, uh, it's quite obvious. And there we go, lots of technical information about how fantastic it is at upscaling um, and it is it is very good um, yeah you get a little GUI as well so you know you don't have to worry about it being very difficult to use so yeah you can just you know select your type waifu type uh, the denoise level the scale factor uh, and upscale your video away you go fantastic and we're nearly there there's only one more section to go ready for the next section let's move on and for the final section, we've got Butterflow. Again, link is in the description or up there, Butterflow. This basically makes motion interpolated videos. It's all right, it explains it here. Increase a video's frame rate by rendering intermediate frames based on motion using a combination of pixel warping and blending. Now for these videos, I've actually done uh, maximum pixel warping because blending looks a little bit weird on these. Uh, but there's a little demonstration of what it does here. So there you go, and your requirements there. This is very easy to install and run. Um, and the videos look a little bit like this.
And then finally, a montage of them all. enjoyed these uh, nerdy rodent tutorials on how to make some very weird art indeed. Good luck and get creating. Bye!